Yo, what's good gamers? So today I'm bringing you something a little different. I've done this before, but not really. A series I did in the past was the do it with a copper short sword mod, which basically was use a copper short sword for the whole playthrough and it just gets stronger and stronger as you progress. The more kills you get with it, the stronger it gets. Like every 10 kills, it gets stronger. Now, we're not doing that. We're gonna see if we can beat Terraria with just short swords and this is no OP short sword mod this time. So it's gonna be legit short swords. The only catch is I'm doing it on Calamity mod. You know, it makes it a bit easier. I had to do Calamity because I, I don't, it's not possible. I, I'm gonna be real non-journey mode, it's not possible. We're doing Calamity. Calamity adds some short swords. There's a few that you'll see that aren't in vanilla that are quite strong, but they're definitely not as strong as your other weapons. You may also be thinking of a certain short sword. It's the Cold Heart Icicle. So this short sword, it only does one melee damage, but it's meant to drain a percentage of enemy health on hit, and that percentage is 2%, I believe. But it didn't work. I tried using it, it only did one damage. It probably would have made this challenge easier anyway. So yeah, no Cold Heart Icicle, just regular short swords. I also used a mod that let me aim my short swords, like in 1.4. Because 1.3, obviously, it, you do it horizontally, a horizontal stab. So I started off as anyone would in a Terraria world. Just collect some wood. I went over to the desert on the left. And as you can see, it wasn't easy to kill these enemies. I got destroyed by a vulture. This world is an expert mode world, so keep that in mind. So I decided, you know what, I'll go to the right. Since uh, there's vultures over to the left, it's a little scary. Let let's go. Let's go to the right. I also realized that um, you can't make a cactus short sword. And then when I was heading past the snow biome, I saw some enemies I was not happy to see. And I decided, no, I'm going to turn around and not fight those guys because I have no chance. And then um, I found the corruption on the left as well. So I kind of was at a dead end, but there was some surface lead. And the good news with this challenge is that short swords are very cheap. So it doesn't take much lead to make a better short sword for sure. I then made a house and decided to make a mine because it's all I can do. There's no surface caves. So I decided to just spelunk down into the ground because what, what other option do I really have? I kept digging down, found some amethyst, which uh, wasn't enough to make a grappling hook, but it's a good start. I also found some platinum, which is definitely helpful. I will want a platinum short sword because that will be the best short sword we can get for a little bit. I then found some shoe spikes and some more platinum, found some silver, some more platinum, a life crystal, and a magic mirror. Let's go. All right, after dying, I come home and I make a platinum short sword, which will help a lot. And then I came across the Calamity uh, Laboratory thingo thing. After finally getting past the turrets on the, on the top of the building and in the middle of it and at the bottom of it, I uh, found some loot, which was actually pretty good loot. Yeah, from here, it's just, it's really just me mining, finding life crystals, finding chests. Um, really just, you know, doing normal Terraria stuff you'd do. Really what I was trying to find is, uh, Hermes boots and, like, platinum silver. Eventually, I'm 400 health and I decided to start adventuring the skies. So I took a gravity potion and I went right up to the planet to, uh, loot them, because why not? And there's, uh, there's ores up here you can find. There's, there's plenty of stuff, so why not? I found a planet of a, with a bunch of tungsten, so I actually decided I'd just get tungsten armor. Why not? There's like an insane amount of tungsten in this planet. So now I have a full set of tungsten armor and I'm ready to fight the bosses, baby. I then went to the jungle and got some uh, jungle spores and stingers and such. And with 10 spores and 5 stingers, I decided to make the spore knife, which is a upgrade for sure. So here I decided to do something a little drastic. I hadn't even fought the Eye of Cthulhu yet. I decided I was going to fight Skeletron. I, I was feeling good about myself. I thought, you know, I, I, I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. Skeletron's pretty easy, right? Forgetting the fact I'm skipping two main bosses. I'm skipping the Eater of Worlds for some reason. I don't know why. I could fight the Eater of Worlds and get the Demonite armor and have more defense, more strength. I don't really remember why I decided to do this. I got destroyed, to say the least. I got absolutely annihilated and I ended my recording because I thought, you know what? I don't know if this is freaking possible. I don't know if I can even beat Terraria with the only short swords. 
So I, I gave up, to say the least. I, I gave up. A month and five days later, I kid you not, a month and five days later, I decided I'll pick this back up again. Maybe, maybe I can do it. After putting it off for a long time, a month and five days, um, I thought I'd give it a shot again. Maybe I can do it. First thing I did though, I went to the merchant and I changed the difficulty. I bought an expert change potion. I switched the difficulty from expert to normal. I didn't want to do this, obviously, but I thought it's already hard enough. Making it expert mode is just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if expert mode is possible, but I decided I'm going to do it on normal mode to save some pain. A at least to see if this is possible, because I didn't even know. But the reason I picked this back up is I had a thought. I thought, you know what, I can go to the ocean and I can fish for the reaver shark. And then the reaver shark in 1.3, they changed this in 1.4, they nerfed it. You can mine hellstone off of any any state, stage of the game. You can go off start with nothing, only a fishing rod and some bait. And you can fish for a reaver shark, get it, go down to hell, mine hellstone, get hellstone armor, get... All that stuff, fiery short sword, anything you want, you can get it that early. And then I realized the demonite pickaxe does the same thing. It can mine hellstone. If I get a nightmare pickaxe, I can I can mine hellstone. So I thought I'll just I'll just beat the eater of worlds and then I can get some hellstone armor, get a hellstone short sword, and then we'll progress for sure. So I went to the corruption uh, with some bombs, and then I uh, challenged the Eater of Worlds. Now this boss should be not too hard. It's, it's Eater of Worlds on normal mode. I just need to make sure I'm not getting hit too much. There's no Vile Spit, so all I need to do is jab it, get close to it. It's just a worm. So it's pretty easy to, to not get too close. So that's exactly what I did, and you know, one, once it starts breaking apart, breaking into different parts, it drops hearts for you. But there's one thing in Calamity that actually made this challenge a lot harder a lot harder like it made it it makes it really hard they added it recently it is armor damage when you get hit by a boss or like certain enemies your armor will take damage you'll lose armor for a short period of time that period of time is like a few seconds and it will regenerate quickly after you've lost it but basically it's to counteract people face tanking and like just standing there swinging killing bosses like just being bulky being a tank that's how they counteracted that and they did that recently and that is literally what a short sword is that you gotta be close and get hit to hit with a short sword so it literally made this challenge 10 times harder but that's not to say it was impossible but regardless, I beat the Eater of Worlds pretty easily, full health. So, now with the Eater of Worlds defeated, I got a Worm Scarf, which the Worm Scarf is nerfed in Calamity. It only does 10% damage reduction instead of 17%, I believe. So, the main short sword I want to get is the Knight Stabber. It's basically the Knight's Edge, but a, but a short sword. But for that, obviously, I need the Corruption Demonite Short Sword. That one, unlike the Light's Bane, you can't craft with only demonite bars, you need brain matter, which you get from the hive mind. So, to get one of the parts of the Night Stabber, I need to defeat the hive mind. For the ancient shiv, I need to have beaten Skeletron, because it drops in the dungeon. I need a fiery short sword, whatever it's called, and uh, the spore knife, which I already have. Okay, I actually went back to fish for Reaver Shark. I hadn't realized that I could just make a nightmare pickaxe at this point. This is when I had the Eureka moment where I could just make a freaking nightmare pickaxe and I was wasting my time. So I went home and dealt with the goblin army that had arrived. So I made myself a nightmare pickaxe and started making my way down to hell so that I can get hellstone and get the fiery short sword, whatever it's called, I don't even remember, and hellstone armor. Alright, this is when I feel an evil presence watching me. So I set up a little arena for the eye and use my spore knife to do some damage. This is when I turned on the mod that made me choose the direction of my short sword, which helped a lot, definitely. But it's not easy. I'd get really close to the eye to hit it. Good thing I had enough armor to, uh, to tank some hits and enough health. I then mined some obsidian because I'm obviously going to need that for the hellstone. And then finally got down to hell. I used an obsidian skin potion and then I just dived in the lava and went mining for some hellstone. I now make some molten armor and I also make the flame burst short sword, which is a really good short sword as you'll see. 
the rematch of the century, me versus Skeletron. This is this is the fight that ultimately made me decide that this challenge was too hard before. And I'm gonna be fighting it again with much better gear. Surely I can win this time. I got endurance potions, molten armor, flame burst, short sword. I am ready to go. And by golly, this was a lot easier than last time now remember this is normal mode instead of expert mode which is uh which is, which makes a big difference obviously i can hit the head straight away and it has a, it has uh like a third less health but that flame burst short sword destroyed it and i did not take much damage i think i could have done this on expert mode if i'm being honest with the amount more defense i have with molten armor and how good the flame burst short sword is I think I could have done it. I think I could have. All right, so now with Skeletron defeated, that means I can now venture into the dungeon and collect the Ancient Shiv down here. The Ancient Shiv drops from Dark Casters occasionally. And by occasionally, I mean very occasionally. It's a 4% chance to drop. There wasn't really anything else I wanted down in the dungeon. Maybe like a Cobalt Shield. But after about 10 minutes, I got the Ancient Shiv. Didn't take too long. I also pulled out a Cobalt Shield out of that and make a Obsidian Shield. So now I have three of the short swords I need to make the Knight Stabber, which is the short sword equivalent of the Knight's Edge. And the last one I need drops from the Hive Mind. So I went over to the Corruption and I fought the Hive Mind. And it was not much of a challenge, to be honest. I uh, killed it pretty easily with the Flame Burst Short Sword. Then I headed over to a demon altar and crafted the Knight Stabber. Knight's Stabber. It does 82 melee damage, 98 true melee damage. I decided to make another Flame Burst Short Sword just in case the Knight Stabber isn't very good. But when I hit an enemy with the Knight Stabber, it sends out projectiles that hit enemies. That's why it holds its own weight against something like the Flame Burst Short Sword, which we've seen is incredibly strong. Alright, so now I'm ready to fight the Wall of Flesh. I mean, it didn't take very long. This took me like maybe three hours to get to this point. But, I mean, I'm ready. I have full Molten Armor, Knight Stabber. How could I be any more ready than this? I stab all the hungry to death, and apparently in non-expert mode, they like, don't grow back. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> I did not realize uh, it's this easy. Um, also, the Wall of Flesh moves at sluggish speed on normal mode. So, um, yeah, the fight was basically done in about a minute. I basically just face tanked the wall. Um, I got down to like 270 health at, at the at the least health. But yeah, so that was not too bad. Oh, I, I've just seen this live. I, I was wondering why I didn't get a pwn hammer or like a weapon or like or like an emblem. It's because the stuff dropped down and I didn't pick it up because my inventory was full. And for some reason, I didn't go down and grab it. So I didn't get most of the loot that I was supposed to get. I then went over to smash the demon altars. Then I realized I can't do that without a pwn hammer. But then I realized Calamity has this thing. If you didn't know, recently Calamity had an update where they made it so that they completely reworked pre-hard mode ores and how it works. Instead of smashing demon altars, as soon as you beat the wall of flesh, the first tier of hard mode ores spawns, so that's palladium and cobalt, they both spawn at the same time, instead of just one. Then once you defeat the first mech boss, which is easier, they make it about like, I think it's 20% easier. The next level of ores will spawn, so that's mithril and, or a calcum. And then once you've defeated the second mech boss, which is 10% easier, adamantite and titanium spawn. So I spelunked into the caves until I had enough cobalt and palladium to make some palladium armor. I then went to the underground corruption to get some souls of night and the underground hallowed to get souls of light so that I can fight the bosses. But instead of fighting a mech boss, I decided I'm fighting cryogen, which is calamity's first hard mode boss. And it's meant to be fought before the mech bosses. I also got a blessed apple while I was in the hallowed. So I made myself a cryo key and summoned cryogen, which uh, was not easy. To say the least, this boss was not easy at all. I actually died a few times to it. I, I ended up making a house for the nurse so that I could heal mid fight because this fight is, you'll, you'll see why. Cryogen behaves kinda weirdly and very unfortunately for a melee player i've never had this issue because i never play melee I've it basically makes sure that it is above the player at most times like it'll it'll go out of its way to be above you and it will 
keep raising itself. If you fly up, it'll fly up. So it's literally, with the short sword, it's ridiculously hard to get to it. And it also creates a shield, so it's like, if you hit it a bit, it'll just regenerate its shield and then you have to hit it a bunch again. After like a few minutes of fighting it and healing from the nurse, I ended up beating it. I got some wings. It drops like a soul of cryogen, which is which counts as some wings. But yeah, it was not easy. If I didn't have the nurse heals, I probably wouldn't have done it. All right, so when it turned nighttime, I decided to fight the twins first instead of the destroyer or Skeletron Prime. I think I came to find out that destroyer probably would have been easier. Because Destroyer is, he kind of stays in the same spot. The twins, on the other hand, kind of run away from me like Cryogen does. So it's not easy to stab them. I did have to heal from the nurse once or twice. But I did end up barely beating it on about 80 health. Then on the same night, without getting any Mithril armor or anything, I decided to fight the Destroyer, which, yeah, was much easier. Much easier than the Twins. I killed it much quicker. So yeah, now the world has been blessed with Adamanti and Titanium, so that means I can go down, get some Titanium armor. After defeating the Destroyer and the Twins, I went down into the caves to get Titanium armor. After venturing my way into the Hallowed, I uh, killed a Chaos Elemental, and it decided to drop a Rod of Discord. So that, that's cool, that, that's cool. That night I fought Gelatron Prime, the last of the mechs, obviously, I have to fight him. He wasn't that hard. Um, I did have to heal from the nurse, because tanking with a short sword is not easy. Um, you do take a lot of damage. Expert mode would have been hard, actually. Like, the mech bosses were not too easy, and the next boss coming up, even harder. I don't think I could have done them on expert mode, but I, I think I could have done pre-hard mode, expert mode. So now it's Plantera. This is not an easy one because the best short sword I can use is the Night Stabber or the um, Excalibur short sword. The next short sword I can get is the uh, True Excalibur short sword and the True Night Stabber. And then there's the Terra short sword. But they need the Broken Hero swords, which drop from Mothron, which is from the Solar Eclipse event. Now, the Solar Eclipse event can occur at any time post mech bosses but mothron doesn't spawn until plantera has been defeated and mothron drops the broken hero swords which would allow me to get a better short sword so my only options are excalibur short sword night stabber or cold heart icicle and the cold heart icicle only does one damage for some reason it's broken so yeah i didn't really know what to do except fight it i decided to carve out the laboratory in the jungle that was my area to fight plantera and yeah i used mainly the excalibur short sword and i got smoked yeah, I didn't even get a quarter health down. So yeah, it wasn't looking good. I didn't know how I could beat this boss, if I'm being honest. I had no clue. What I ended up doing is I realized you can get turtle armor pre-Plantera. As soon as you have the pickaxe axe, you can get chlorophyte. And then with the chlorophyte, you can mix with turtle shells, which drop occasionally from the big turtles. So I used a war potion, um, <laughs> which spawned... A lot of enemies in the jungle. I farmed some turtles until I was able to craft a full set of turtle armor. So that should help because that means I'll have much more defense, which means I can tank a lot more hits from Plantera. I fought Plantera again and I found myself taking a lot less damage, go figure. I used mostly the Excalibur short sword, but I ended up dying. I didn't really know what to do. I decided I'd reforge my accessories for warding to, to see what would happen. Warding is quite good on Calamity, it's it's better than it is in, in vanilla. When you go to hard mode, it does damage reduction and 6 defense, so maybe it'd make a difference. I buffed up with all my potions, and if, if you can see that, I'm taking like 1 damage on contact. 1 damage from Plantera. I don't know what happened. The warding made that much of a difference, but I'm taking like no damage from Plantera. The difference is impeccable. Second phase, I, I went down to like half health, but it was fine. I, I, I managed to dodge it enough and really it, it was not an issue. So Plantera down, thank goodness. I thought I was at a stalemate. I thought I wouldn't be able to beat the boss. I then used my Rod of Discord to enter the temple without even using the key. And I got a solar tablet so that I could spawn the solar eclipse and fight Mothron and get some broken hero swords so that I could get the next short swords. After defeating the Mothrons I needed and getting two broken hero swords, 
I made the true Excalibur short sword and the true knight's stabber. Now, I don't know if this weapon is better than those two. I don't know the stats. I don't know which one's the best. I just had faith that the more expensive one would be better but I made the Terra Shiv, which is supposedly the best short sword in the game. That is non post Moon Lord Calamity stuff. I went to the Lizard Temple and I thought I could beat the Golem, you know? If, if I have the best short sword, surely I can beat the Golem. And yeah, I was right. <laughs> Having Golem defeated is a big deal because I now have Beetle Husks, which I can turn my turtle armor into beetle armor, which is the best melee armor I can get. So with nothing else left to do, I went over to the dungeon to fight the lunatic cultist, thinking this would be an easy fight. Easy fight. So apparently Calamity made this fight harder or something because I struggled. I struggled with this fight. The electric attack makes you lose health rapidly. The frost attack, if it, any of it hits you, makes you freeze. I also failed to hit the right cultist, and then this glitch dragon spawned. It was an absolute mess. Everything was going wrong. I kept accidentally hitting the wrong cultist. I should mention that the Terra Shiv only shoots projectiles horizontally because short swords are meant to be on horizontal only in 1.3. So the projectiles are completely horizontal, which makes this uh, pretty hard. I definitely do not recommend this weapon for normal people. Oh, and I died. Yeah, as I said, this, this it was not an easy fight. But part of why I lost is because my wings were so trash. I was using Cryogen Souls wings still, so I fought Mothron again and got some Mothron wings. I then went over for a rematch, and this time, still struggling a bit, I managed to defeat it. So now my favorite part of the game, the Celestial Pillars, as I've stated before, I, I love this part of the game, especially Solar Pillars, I, I love those, I, I love that part of the game, it's so much fun. I started with my favorite, the Solar Pillar. I think this, this pillar is easier for melee players because obviously you don't take as much damage from things and you can just tank the hits and, and just swing like a madman because it wasn't as hard. I then went over to the Vortex Pillar and used a War Potion and there's a lot of enemies. Holy crap, that is a lot of enemies. I went over to the Nebula Pillar. I ended up not dying to the Nebula Pillar and just beating it. It wasn't that hard. And then the Stardust Pillar, which uh, actually kind of was difficult. The enemies hurt there. I died a few times. But now all the pillars are destroyed, so that means one thing and one thing only. The Moon Lord is approaching. So, can I defeat the Moon Lord with only a short sword? The Terra Shiv. So this fight wasn't easy. I had to line myself up with the eyes to hit them because, you know, the projectiles only shoot horizontally and true melee isn't really an option here. I don't want to get too close to these things or they're going to hurt, but the, uh, the rotter discord definitely helps with uh, dodging the main laser, the top eye laser. But the annoying thing is when the top eye is out and I am below it and he keeps going up and I can't hit it. I'm just now remembering how hard and long this fight was. So three minutes in and I haven't even killed one of the eyes yet. The top eye is still over half health. Now we're four minutes in, still half health. I ended up actually killing both of his hand eyes before even getting close to defeating the top eye we are now six minutes in and it's not even close seven minutes in nope eight minutes in we're, we're getting there nine minutes in it's it's freaking close ten minutes in to the fight finally the top eye is destroyed and the core is open now i need to hit the core somehow because if you didn't notice the moon lord positions itself its core slightly lower than the player. So I had to constantly be jumping up and going down so that I could hit it occasionally. The problem is when I go up, I also hit the hand if I'm too close. So I had to do this ritual where I was going, I was going up and then down, up and then drop down. All the while trying to dodge all the projectiles and all the lasers from the true eye of Cthulhu's. We are now 12 minutes into the fight and uh, I've done about quarter health to its core. 14 minutes into the fight, it's almost half. And here at 15 minutes into the fight, I died. Words can't describe my disappointment. Words can't describe the feeling I was having. 
Regretting my life decisions, I decided to spawn the Moon Lord again and give it another shot. And this time, I was determined to make it quicker. I used my true melee on the top eye really carefully, making sure I was close to it, but not too close to it. But yeah, I really utilized the true melee. After the death laser, I'd go up and true melee the top eye. It worked pretty well. It, it, I don't know why I didn't do this the whole time. This, this is a much better strategy is drop him down, then go up, hit the top eye, drop him down, go up, hit the top eye. Um, I also use nurse healing. Seriously, th this was so much better. This strategy was so much better than what I was doing. I, I think it's because I'm so used to, to running when I fight the Moon Lord. That's my strategy is I fly constantly left or right um, instead of doing, doing this. Um, but holy crap, the damage compared to before is insane. I was taking mad damage, but the nurse was there. I could heal from her. I could just tank the hits. I ended up defeating the top eye only a few minutes into the fight and the core's open. And this time I was just gonna go up, drop down and hit it. There were a lot, and I mean a lot of projectiles though. This, this was not easy. I was taking damage left, right and center. Nurse heal when I needed to. And make sure the nurse doesn't die was the main concern of mine. All the other NPCs died, but the nurse has a great feature of healing herself. And after about 10 minutes of fighting, finally, the Moon Lord was defeated. So there you have it. I defeated the Moon Lord. I defeated Terraria with only short swords. Now, it was on Calamity, obviously, and I'm sorry if that disappoints you. Although, I just don't think it is possible with only short swords outside of mods, outside of journey mode as well. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, um, subscribe for more. I'll be coming out soon with a video that I've already recorded, a whole playthrough, where I did ranged, but I didn't use any bows or any guns. Anything that's considered a gun or a bow on the wiki, anything that uses arrows or... or um, bullets, even like star cannon counts, they're not allowed. Only throwables, consumables, some certain weapons that aren't considered guns or bows, and launchers. So yeah, that was a fun one. Subscribe and keep a lookout for that one, and I'll see you guys next time.